the place we surfed that day is not what the young guys are surfing today. This place was breaking about once every 45 minutes, maybe half hour, and it was breaking. When you get on top of your car and you look out and you can see where the, where the reefs start, where the blue water ends and the reefs start, it was breaking just inside there. It was a white elephant break. I've never seen, you know, in 100 trips to the islands, I've never seen it break again. The direction of the swell had to be perfect. Kenny Bradshaw has paddled out there and dove. He claims he's located the reef. He thought it was bullshit until he went out and spent a half a day and he found the reef. And uh, basically it was, we just rolled up there and saw this thing break, pulled the boards off the car and said, you know, Mike and I spent a half hour, 45 minutes trying to get out. The current was just raging towards sunset. We figured if we got to the left, maybe I know it was 50 yards to the left, we hit the water and you had to be about oh, 75 yards off the beach out. And if you timed it right and hit this little saddle, you might make it through there. We tried twice, got back up, went back up on the beach and Ricky Gregg was up on top of his car, you know, telling us when to go. Anyway, we paddled out, boom, we took lineups from Kaina Point and stuff and zeroed on it. It broke once as we were paddling out. You know, you'd look down over the side of your board and coral reefs were going like this and your balls are starting to suck up inside your body because somebody's going to be nibbling on your toes. But uh, they just kept, you know, just just swam and fortunately the current wasn't really bad. And so we paddled slow and another set came then and we were within two or three hundred yards of the place and it broke and I will never forget the wave. It was just, you know, all the pictures of it, it's all gloomy and shitty. When I saw it, I don't know whether there was a break in the clouds or what, but here's this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful line, you know. I don't know how big it was. It was big, it was the biggest I've ever seen pipeline. And the thing was just glistening like diamonds off the face of this wave. Just a big, beautiful, grinding thing and it wasn't typical pipeline where you know it's kind of a you know you take the drop go a little ways and blow out this these things were long 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 walls the direction as it came around Kaina was just perfect where it hit that reef and the walls just kept going and as it broke on that reef the reef must be sh shaped a little bit like this as it would break on that reef it wouldn't lose its size it just in fact, the wave got bigger. And we sat out there for two hours, three hours maybe. Mike got away and got up, lost his board and paddled in. It took him two hours to get in. And uh, I finally got a wave. That, you know, you've, I guess you've seen the wave, have you? This wave was an outside reef wave. I mean, we didn't even know it. They're fast and they've got a lot of slope to them. And my board was 11.8. And it was a paddling machine. Paddling and paddling and paddling in the last minute. And tails raising and whew, sliding down the face of this thing. And then it just, you, I couldn't get out of it. I couldn't, you know, about all I could do is just s spread out and hang on to my balls and hope for the best. And it went forever. The wave just went and went. And I could hear the board going. Ch -ch 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 -ch. And pretty soon it was going. Ch -ch -ch -ch. And and nothing, man. And the board just, it, it, it just raised off the, and I looked down and I'm just going like this off the face of the wave and the wind caught it, whipped it. And uh, you don't see it in the picture, but I mean, I was four feet off the wave, spread out like a, you know, pancake and trying to stay on this thing. And, and it, it folded over in front of me. How did you get in? I mean, the swimming. Dog, I'm a right shitty now. swimmer and I dog paddle for over an hour over an hour to get in, over an hour, an hour and a half, I don't even know, you know. So anyway, uh, they, you know, they, Bud Brown used the thing in four or five movies as the end shot, and uh, a lot of good things happen, so, you know, a lot of fun serving. You know, you look back, man, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade any of it.